Welcome to the InfoStream bringing you the latest news from around the world. Humans have always sought new ways to connect. We build bridges, we lay roads, and sometimes we carve paths through the very land itself. These paths are canals. Think about the ancient waterways. They allowed civilizations to trade goods and share ideas. They were the super highways of their time. Water has always been a powerful force for transport. It carries heavy loads with relative ease. This is simple physics, really. Gravity and buoyancy doing their work. Consider the Suez Canal, a ribbon of blue across the Egyptian desert. It opened in 1869. Suddenly, ships no longer needed to sail all the way around Africa. The journey from Europe to Asia became thousands of miles shorter. This was a revolution for global trade. It brought nations closer. It changed the flow of goods, information, and even empires. The Suez Canal showed the immense power of a well-placed waterway. Then there is the Panama Canal, a triumph of early 20th century engineering. It sliced through the narrow isthmus of Panama. It connected the mighty Atlantic and Pacific Oceans. Building it was an incredible challenge. The Panama Canal, with its ingenious locks, lifts ships up and over mountains. Imagine a new, massive canal. This canal is a bold idea from China. It could change how ships travel across the globe. The plan is to build a huge waterway. This waterway would offer a new path for giant cargo ships. It would be a shortcut, saving time and money. This project is big, very big. It involves cutting through land, possibly in Southeast Asia. The most talked about location is the Isthmus of Kra in Thailand. This narrow strip of land separates the Gulf of Thailand from the Andaman Sea. A canal here would be a game changer. Ships sailing between East Asia and Europe or the Middle East currently pass through the Strait of Malacca. This is a very busy, narrow shipping lane. It is like a crowded highway for the seas. The proposed new canal would offer an alternative route. It would be like building a new, faster expressway. This could make shipping quicker and perhaps safer. It would bypass the congested Malacca Strait. This vision is about creating new possibilities for global movement. China sees this as a strategic project. Building a canal of this magnitude is an enormous engineering challenge. Think about the sheer scale of it. We are talking about moving billions of cubic meters of earth and rock. This is like carving a small canyon through a country. The proposed canal, perhaps over 100 kilometers long, would require incredible machinery. Giant excavators, powerful drills, and fleets of trucks would be needed. It would be one of the largest construction projects ever undertaken on our planet. The Earth itself presents obstacles. Engineers would face many hurdles. The terrain might be hilly or mountainous in places. This means digging deeper or finding clever ways around high ground. There could be complex geology with different types of rock and soil. Some soil might be unstable, requiring special techniques to prevent collapses. Water management would also be critical. Controlling rivers, groundwater, and preventing flooding during construction and operation is a huge task. The precision required is immense. A project of this scale comes with a colossal price tag. We are talking about an investment of around $50 billion. That is a vast sum of money. Where would this money come from? China is expected to be the primary investor. This funding would likely be part of its larger global investment strategies. It shows a willingness to spend big on infrastructure that can reshape trade. China sees significant economic reasons for such a project. A new canal could reduce shipping costs for Chinese goods. It could also secure energy supply lines. Much of China's oil imports pass through the Strait of Malacca. A new canal offers an alternative, more direct route. This is about economic efficiency and energy security. It is a long-term investment. This proposed new canal is not just an engineering project. It is a strategic move. It could become a major competitor to existing shipping routes. Think of the Panama Canal. It has been the main shortcut between the Atlantic and Pacific for over a century. While this new Asian canal would serve different primary routes, Asia to Europe and intra-Asia, it represents a similar ambition to reshape maritime pathways. It could divert a significant amount of traffic creating a new center of gravity in global shipping. The most direct impact would be on the Strait of Malacca. This narrow passage between Malaysia and Indonesia is one of the busiest shipping lanes in the world. 
the new canal, by offering a shortcut, would directly challenge the dominance of this route. Ships could save hundreds of nautical miles. A new major canal does more than just let ships pass. It can redraw the economic map of the world. Imagine trade winds. They once guided sailing ships. A new canal creates new, predictable winds for modern commerce. It can make some trade routes much more efficient. This means goods can move faster and cheaper between countries. This can boost international trade. More trade can lead to economic growth for many nations. It is like opening a new, faster lane on the global economic highway. The most obvious benefit is reduced shipping times and costs. For companies that move vast amounts of goods, like electronics, clothes, or raw materials, these savings add up. This can make products cheaper for consumers. It can also make businesses more competitive. Countries that are geographically well-positioned to use the new canal could see big benefits. Their ports could become busier. New industries might grow around these new trade flows. Building a massive canal is a huge undertaking. It will certainly affect the environment. We must think carefully about these impacts. Carving a 100-kilometer channel through land changes ecosystems. Forests might be cleared. Wetlands could be drained. These areas are homes for many plants and animals. Their habitats could be lost or broken apart. This is a serious concern. We share this planet with countless other species. Their well-being is connected to our own. The construction itself can cause pollution. Dust, noise, and waste from building sites need to be managed. There is also the issue of what to do with all the earth and rock that is dug up. This material, called spoil, has to go somewhere. If not handled properly, it can damage surrounding areas. Once the canal is operating, there are other concerns. Will salt water from the canal seep into freshwater sources nearby? This could affect farming and drinking water for local people and wildlife. Marine environments at both ends of the canal also need protection. A giant canal project does not just affect land and water, it deeply affects people. Thousands of people might live in the path of the proposed canal. Their homes, farms, and communities could be displaced. This is a huge social impact. Imagine having to leave the place where your family has lived for generations. Governments and project developers have a big responsibility. They must treat people fairly. Compensation should be just. New homes and livelihoods should be provided. There can also be positive impacts for local communities. The construction project itself will create many jobs. People can find work building the canal, roads, and ports. Once the canal is open, it will need workers to operate and maintain it. New businesses might spring up to serve the canal and the ships. This could bring economic growth to the region. Local people could benefit from new schools, healthcare, and infrastructure built as part of the project. The key is to ensure these benefits are shared widely. However, there are always concerns about fairness. This proposed $50 billion canal is more than just a waterway. It is a piece of a much larger puzzle. It fits into China's Belt and Road Initiative, or BRI. The BRI is a massive global plan. China is building infrastructure like ports, railways, and highways across many countries. It is like creating a network of connections, a modern Silk Road, spanning continents. This canal would be a key link in the maritime part of the BRI, the Maritime Silk Road. It strengthens China's ability to trade and connect with the world. The geopolitical significance is immense. Geopolitics is about how countries relate to each other on the world stage. A new canal, backed by China, changes the power dynamics in the region and globally. It gives China more influence over critical trade routes. It could reduce reliance on routes controlled or influenced by other major powers. It is a statement of ambition. It shows China's rise as a major global player, capable of funding and building projects that reshape the planet's economic landscape. This is like stars shifting in a constellation, changing the patterns we see. As we look to the future, we face big questions. As the construction of the canal progresses, the world watches closely. Its completion promises to be a game-changer for global trade. Imagine a shorter, more efficient route for shipping goods between Asia and the Americas. This new canal could reduce travel time by days, saving fuel and cutting costs for shipping companies. Pause ones. Lower transportation costs mean cheaper goods for consumers and higher profit margins for businesses. 
Countries along the new route could see economic benefits as well. Ports could become bustling hubs of activity, bringing jobs and boosting local economies. Pause ones. However, it's not all smooth sailing. Established trade routes and ports may face challenges. The global shipping landscape could be disrupted, forcing adaptation and innovation. Companies and nations will need to rethink strategies to stay competitive. Pause ones. The ripple effects of this new canal could reach far and wide. It's a powerful reminder of how interconnected our world has become. As we navigate these changes, the balance of economic power may shift, creating new opportunities and challenges for everyone involved. Pause ones. In the end, the canal is more than just a passage for ships. It's a symbol of progress, a catalyst for economic transformation, and a testament to human ingenuity. Its impact on global trade will be felt for generations to come. As we delve deeper into the construction of this monumental canal, it's crucial to highlight the technological innovations driving this project forward. Pause once. Advanced engineering techniques and cutting-edge machinery are at the heart of this endeavor. Imagine autonomous dredging machines, capable of operating 24-7, meticulously carving out the canal's path. These machines use precision GPS and real-time data analytics to ensure accuracy and efficiency, reducing the margin of error significantly. In addition, augmented reality AR, and virtual reality VR, are being utilized to train workers and simulate various construction scenarios. This not only enhances safety, but also allows for better planning and problem solving. Robotics also play a pivotal role. From automated welding systems to robotic arms that can assemble complex structures, these technologies streamline operations and improve overall productivity. Environmental monitoring systems are another critical component. These systems track and mitigate the impact of construction on local ecosystems, ensuring a balance between progress and preservation. The use of renewable energy sources, such as solar and wind power, further underscores the project's commitment to sustainability. The integration of these technological advancements not only accelerates the construction process, but also sets new standards for future infrastructure projects. It's a fascinating glimpse into how technology is reshaping the way we build, innovate, and connect our world. As we look ahead, one thing is clear. The future of canal construction is not just about moving earth and water. It's about harnessing the power of technology to create something truly extraordinary. As we explore the technological marvels behind canal construction, it's equally important to envision the broader implications for maritime logistics. The advancements we're witnessing today are laying the groundwork for a new era in global shipping. Imagine a world where autonomous ships navigate seamlessly through these newly constructed canals, guided by sophisticated AI and satellite systems. These vessels, powered by renewable energy sources, will significantly reduce carbon emissions, making maritime transport more sustainable than ever before. Smart ports, equipped with IoT sensors and blockchain technology, will streamline cargo handling and customs processes, drastically cutting down on waiting times and operational costs. The integration of big data analytics will enable real-time tracking and predictive maintenance, ensuring that fleets operate at peak efficiency. Furthermore, the enhanced connectivity offered by 5G networks will facilitate seamless communication between ships, ports, and logistics centers, creating a truly interconnected global supply chain. These innovations are not just about improving efficiency, they are about reimagining the entire landscape of maritime logistics. As we stand on the cusp of this transformation, one thing is certain. The future of maritime logistics is not just about moving goods, it's about moving towards a smarter, greener, and more connected world.